Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got this Moira Super Size Stamper number 15. Moonshine Manny, I love it. And I'll be using Maniology MXM 097 and 098. I'll get some other stuff involved too, but Baby Girl Lacquer Glitter Be Gone is my base coat today. And here is Moonshine Manny's I Love It from her Dupe It project. And here we go. We're just going to go ahead and get started. I love how this dries down matte. It is so pretty like that. Of course, I end up glossifying this rascal, but it's okay. You can always matte it if you like that. I will go ahead and confess that this will not be the best Moira Super Size Stamper demo you've ever seen because I, I didn't realize how to enlarge it until after the fact. So, we're going to get some normal stamping and some shrinking today. So there we go. Come on, camera. Act right. There we go. All right. We're going to do a second coat of I Love It by Moonshine Manny. I love this formula. It's a very, very nice formula. Not too thick, not too thin. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here it is mattified on its own natural state. And then we're going to gloss it up with some INM out the door. Put a glossy top coat on it so it'll dry down through the layers and we'll get to play in here in just a moment very nice capping my fridge here so here we go with my swatch photo of it glossy and here is the moira stamping series this is number 15 super sizer which i'm not going to show you that today and then maniology mxm 097 and 098. So we're going to get the blue film off of these plates real quick and give them a quick wipe down with acetone. And then we're going to get to doing the playing part of this here, Manny. Hi, Woody. How you doing? He's having to do another job today. He's like double timing it. Come on. There we go. Getting it going there. Well, there we go. All right. Hold the plate down so you don't bend it. All right. Give them a quick wipe down here. Quick wipey wipe. And we'll flip these over so they're not glaring. I'll be using Sticky Stampin' Polish from She Modern, the black one. And the Black Hollow Glitter. Oh, love this stuff. Maniology Scraper out. We will, uh, of course, be using the Moira Stamper. So I'm doing the same image on two nails times two, like a single image, and then, you know. So this is, I thought I was going to enlarge it, because I, you know, pressed it up to make it bigger, but then I can't see through it. So. Here we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. So this ends up being just regular size. This is the regular size for this one. Um, was not expecting that. I'm going to claim my stamper off on a lit roller and we're going to put it back together. First, got to screw down. Come on, you got to screw down the thing first. Screw it down. I'm trying to make it look way more complicated than it really is. But just so you know, if you've gotten one of these and you're fiddling with it like me, nothing wrong. It's okay. Live and learn. Okay, so now I'm pushing the blobber stopper up, and we're going to stamp on that the same image I just did. And I love that I'm using the sticky stamping polish because I've got time to deal with this. Roll it, pick it up, clean up your excess off of the stamper. Out of frame, because that's how Tina does it. And then we're going to release it and take the stopper stopper down. And that is where the image gets shrunk. Oh, can't make up my mind here. So there we go. Shrunk. So we got it bigger and littler. And I'll have some pictures at the end so you can see the differences. And so do the stopper down, put the stamper back on. Now, if you want to use this, I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to yak while I'm doing it. Well, I'm trying to get this plate up. It's stuck. Um, 
we're going to do a full size image on the next two nails. It's going to be the same image on both of them. But here's my take on this. Is if you want to enlarge an image, I believe you would be better suited if you're like horrible at stamping without being able to see through it like me. Make a decal. You know, maybe do an accent nail. Make it big. Buy more than one stamper. I don't know. But, um... See, I crank it up. Oh, it made it big. But I can't see it, so I'm going to take it off, and now it's just going to be normal again. Because it's not stretched out anymore. So here is the normal size. <laughs> Live and learn, eh? You know? This is how we do it. And I really do like the concept of this stamper. I think it's really cool. Okay, I got a broke piece. It came out of my stamper. I don't know what's going on with that. Didn't seem to affect it. Um, I continue on playing, and it's still going up and down and all the things, so I, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if I broke something off in there or if it just had a piece of extra plastic bouncing around down in there. All right, so now we're gonna, we got it pl plunged up, and then it released, so now it made it a little smaller. I will play with this again so that you maybe get a better idea of how this thing works and does but this was my take on it today the day all right so i'm putting this image here just regular over on my thumbnail my super duper short thumbnail because it needed something too i don't know why i felt the need to put the stamp together if i'm just regular stamping but i did i did it i did that so we're going to clean the stamping plate off. My sticky stamping polish is still sticky. And while that's still sticky in, I'm going to um, get my mess cleaned up here. Get this other plate clean with some acetone. Wipe it with a lamp free wipe. Need to do a better job than that, but we'll do it later. Got some other playing to do. I'm ready to get on to the regular playing. All right, so I'm going to clean up a little bit with some sticky tape because I want this cleaned up before I start playing with that glitter because I don't want that stuff getting stuck on the polish that's stuck around my skin, you know. So we're going to break out the acetone and my cleanup brush and just do a little bit of cleaning here. Save me some troubles later, I guarantee it. There we go, getting the sides up underneath. Ta-da! And now for the glitter stamping, the black hollow glitter stamping, pixie dust, whatever you want to call it. It's um, it's amazing. I love it. I just tap some out on the nails and then use my finger to tap it in to that still sticky wet stamping polish. Need a little more on this one. Tap, tap, tap. Tap it in, gal. Now, I do let these sit for a few minutes and dry off before I try to brush any of this stuff off. Because um, if you do it too soon, it can distort the stamped image underneath it and mess it up, smear it, blur, you know, blur fly it. You don't want that. So, just take your time. Let it dry for a little bit. Clean my finger off on my lint roller. And then I go in with my little fishy brush and brush lightly. I am not going crazy on this. I know it looks like it, but it's because I've sped it up a little bit. But I'm really being quite light with this brushing here. There we go. Okay, now I'm going in with a super duper thin coat of the She Modern Sealer. Now, I actually got more on here than I really needed. But you want to go super thin with this. Go light just to seal it in. There we go. Then I'm going to top it with the American Classics Jealous. Just because I want this to be like not bumpy at all. The polish itself has those black little glitters in it that also were standing up. And then I did the stamping with the glitter. So I wanted to kind of give that a little more, uh, you know, so that I could get that smooth finish on top. Once that's dried down a little bit, I'm going in with my Posh Top Coat, and we're going to slap this on here, because the American Classics does not dry fast, and I like some quick drying top coat, so we're putting that on. This will be our last 
last layer to this hair manicure. Go across the edge, seal that in. Ta-da! We got her done. All right, so here is my swatch photo of this manicure. And here are the images, like I showed you, those two, bigger and little. If you want to see them, you might want to slow them down. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.